Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Project Turtlehead, or just Turtlehead actually. I decided to play some more of it because, well, this game is actually pretty good. I have to say that much. And how I know it is good is from a YouTuber I met last year at, at Gamescom. Well, actually, she played. I don't know if. She might have played it before or after Comic Con, but she played this game. She's a German YouTuber, so wouldn't make much sense if I say a name. You wouldn't probably understand her anyway. But yeah, let's go back in. Oh yeah, right. Okay. <clears throat> Need to get used to the controls again. What do I do? Okay. Those are locked. That's good, I guess. Doors locked, yeah, okay. Do I go upstairs? Oh, I can go upstairs. Oh, that's not good. There's no point searching in there for a light source. I heard something, I don't like it. Okay, classroom. There's something written here, it looks like a page from a diary. Read, yeah. The other day when I was getting ready to leave, I spotted an unfamiliar man standing at the end of the hall. I didn't get a good look at him as he was so far away, but the but the instant but the instant his head turned towards me he took off running of course i gave i gave chase but i lost track of the guy fast i let the other um faculty faculty know or faculty uh, whatever nobody uh, screw, screw it, whatever <laughs> i skipped it incidentally I don't know what he was doing here, but I, but what I find the most troubling was that when I saw him, he was standing outside of Miss Lily's classroom. If he had just come out of it, as if he had just come out of it. No one, none of us know if this incident has anything to do with what happened earlier this year or if it was just a coincidence. Either way, I'm going to be more alert from now on. <clears throat> well, we saw the dude last time. It's a clock, window, textbooks of various subjects are on the shelf. I am fucking freaking scared. Okay, I can go in here as well. Seems to be a note. Death drawers are locked. Well, that's great. Cannot is filled with a few books and school supplies. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Door won't open. There's wire tied around the doorknob. Well, that's just fucking great. A fire extinguisher. Yeah, I would have guessed that much. You should check on Emma and Mason. Oh, I don't like it already. I hear some. I hear something. Oh God. Hi. Oh God! Are you kidding me? Oh, fuck yourself! Where was I supposed to go? Door won't open. 
You can hear something on the other side. Snob sniff. Uh, sob sniff. Okay. Okay, it was that button to run. Isn't that Mason? Are you kidding me? Holy fuck! Come on, I got away from him and then this. God, I hate games with chasing scenes like this. <clears throat> Get the fuck back! Yes, hide in the locker! Okay, not funny, not at all funny. God damn it. He lost the key. Key on the ground, pick desk key. What desk? And there was Mason and he's dead. Well, that's great already. Oh, I know which desk. Run, run, run. Uh, Harriet? Was it Harriet? I believe it was Harriet. Use desk key. <clears throat> yeah, what's inside? There's a battery in the desk. Picked up a battery. There are also some documents in the drawer. Read, yeah. I can't believe they, they're dele um, delaying the demolition again. Don't they know how dangerous that place is? It's been years since the school used that old building and I can't understand why it's taking so long to get rid of it. I'm seriously worried that one of these days some students will sneak in there and get hurt. <coughs> Although it's not the like it's not the like the current building is that much better. I think we're long overdue for some renovations. Okay, speaking about an old building, which is always great, I got a freaking... Why? I got a battery. I don't have any weapons or anything else, I just got a battery. Did I save? I don't remember. I think now I have saved, actually. Okay. So yeah, we met the mass murderer. Senor Turtle Head, Senor Total Douchebag, to be. Oh, and there's Mason. Mason isn't moving. Yeah, I would have guessed that much myself. A first aid kit is on the wall. There's no much you can do with it now. Come on, he's laying right there. Take the freaking. Are you kidding me? There's a key on the table. Pick up classroom key. What classroom? Nothing but medical files, you don't need any from here. Some pens and paperwork are in the drawers. There's a flashlight on the desk. It doesn't have any batteries. There's no reason to take it. I have a battery! Use the freaking battery! It 
It needs two batteries. Are you serious? I mean, I could have guessed that much myself, but come on. Come on. That's not really cool. <clears throat> oh, it's Emma. Ah, uh, Harriet. Okay. Harriet, thank God. Harry, Harriet, thank God you're all right. You saw him, right? The man in the mask? And what he did to Mason? We need to get out of here now! What? The exit is sealed off? Then what are we supposed to do? Huh? You look for another way out? But that man is still wandering around. It's too dangerous. But I guess there isn't anything we can do about it. I'm sorry, I want to go with you, but I'm too afraid to go back out there. I'll hide in here while you try and find a way out of the building. Well, thank you, bitch. Me for real. Come on, I have to do it myself. I have. Nothing important. Great. There's nothing there. Computers. No, nothing. <clears throat> Please be careful. Oh, oh, suddenly you're very nice to me. I can see. Uh, computer lab e eti etiquette? Please remain quiet and respectful of others working around you. Yeah, I would have guessed that much. Nothing. Nothing. Great. I got a whole bunch of nothing. Isn't nothing great? I love nothing. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, and I can't go this way, so there's only one way I can actually go. No, wait, I got a classroom key. I forgot almost. This one? Don't want open. Oh, yeah. Wrong door. <laughs> run, Harriet, run. Pitch black. Yeah, okay. I need... Boah, freak off. I think there are just um, certain scenes where he is running after me. It's not like he's just um, suddenly appearing and then running after me. I don't think that's the case. And if it is, then that's bullshit. <laughs> so where was a room I couldn't go in? No, I wasn't here. I remember that much. Down? Yeah, no, I don't believe that... Uh, no, not down. Am I dumb? I mean, I am dumb, but am I dumb? <laughs> like, that dumb? I wasn't here and I wasn't here. Yeah, I was. Come on, run faster. Okay, up. Holy fuck. Use the classroom key. Okay, what's this? Pick up a chalkboard pointer. Okay, why do you need it? Uh, the, the, the textbooks, blah, blah, blah. There are lots of writings here. Read, yeah. There have been a lot of rumors among the students lately. Supposedly, during the late hours of the night, people have claimed to see an oddly shaped figure standing at some of the windows. In addition to that, some have said that you can hear the sounds of someone screaming from the inside. Of course, at first I didn't believe any of this. It was likely that everyone was just... was just scared and paranoid after everything that... everything that hap uh, that's happened. But now, I really don't know what to think. The other day I was having a drink with Sam. He told me that when he was driving home from the graveyard shift in the night before, he saw someone standing at the window on the top floor of the school. Sam has always been the no, non nonsense type, so I don't doubt so I don't doubt that uh, what he says. And considering the last time he says he saw this, there should, uh, shouldn't have been any, 
anyone in the building, not even the custodi custodian? <clears throat> if what Sam saw wasn't just his mind playing tricks on him, then does that mean that there there's actually been someone wandering around the school every night? But if that's true, then what the hell are those sounds people have been hearing? All good questions and all will never be answered because this game is cursed. I believe, I believe, I believe. Library, door is locked. That's very good. That's not very good actually. I am scared. Bloody door! Oh no, I don't want to go in here. Oh no, I don't like this in here. Why is it bloody? There's blood on the floor here. Look underneath the desk. You can just make out the shape of a key in the darkness. Reach for it. Yeah. You managed to reach the key. Obtained bloody key. Obtained bloody key. There's nothing of use inside. Great, I got a bloody key. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I don't like this at all. There's a crack. Use classroom key. Discarded the classroom key. Why? Oh, this is not the way. Oh, this does not look pleasant in any way. There is a piece of paper sticking out between some books. See you soon. Okay, I don't like this at all anymore. Oh god, there's nothing here and that's the worst. This radio is emitting nothing but static. If you had a screwdriver, you could take out its battery. I don't have it! Think I, go, I think I keep going for a little bit longer. But I am fucking scared that something is going to pop out at me. And tear me apart. Uh, I don't like it. Where the fuck do I use a bloody key? Most importantly, bloody. Note, bloody. <laughs> okay. I believe down here. Is this where the bloody key goes? No. Okay, where the fuck do I use a bloody key? What the hell? Maybe I can wash it? Using the chalkboard, point, uh, chalkboard pointer, you were able to reach what was on the floor of the stall. Pick up a screwdriver. Oh, I got a screwdriver! Oh, nice! I got it! Who would have thought? Do I still have the pointer? No, of course I don't have the pointer anymore after that. Why is this game so freaking quiet? Quiet. Any time that nothing happens, this game is just quiet. And I could care much less about that. Okay, got battery. Okay. I think I'm going to leave this part here of Turtlehead. We're making some good progress, I guess. God, this game is not very pleasant, I have to say that much. It is pretty good, actually. 
but like it gives me really bad creeps up my spine and I don't like that at all. So yeah, thank you for watching the second part of Turtlehead and I will see you on the next video. Bye!